deserve it. Hallelujah. Come on, smile, everyone. Aren't you in a good mood? You will be before service is over.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen, amen. Praise God. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. God bless every one of you. Welcome to Fire and Water Saturday night service. To our visitors, God bless you. Thank you for joining us and trusting us with the things of God. And everybody watching at home, God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Um, just a couple quick announcements, and we're going to move forward with the service. Um, Ginger, you have an announcement? Okay, so it's Christmas time again, and we're getting in the spirit of giving. So um, we're going to be doing angel tree this year. These are um, children of prisoners. So uh, we're just basically bridging the gap for the parents that are not able to be there for their children. Um, so as a church body, we'll be buying presents for these kids. Um, and then we get an opportunity... It's a wonderful opportunity for us to not only reach out into our community, um, but also to minister to these kids. And you know, while they're going through their pains and feeling abandoned or not having their parents, we're saying that God is there, and, and you know, God can fill that hole that they're feeling. So, um, it's a great opportunity. At the bookstore, you can pick up a, a child's name. They'll be getting two presents, a clothing item, and a gift. Well like a toy item. Um, the gifts are between 15 and $20. Um, so, I mean, if you can't do both for one child, we'll split it up. So whatever you're comfortable with and you can do, and uh, please don't unwrap the presents. You know, we wanna make sure that they're the right size and things like that. Um, also, if you wanna volunteer to help, you can sign up. And then this year, we're gonna have a party where we're gonna invite all the kids and their caregivers and the youth, thank you. Um, the youth is actually going to put something together and minister to them, and you know we'll have an opportunity to really just love on the kids and the parents. So um, I would love for all of you to pick a name and help a family and a child, and um, let's all be blessed. So, Chris, have so praise God. So please make yourselves available after the service. And again, if you can't do fifteen dollars or one, or you know, then you know what, we can all do something. Then you know, don't don't say I can't. Well, I can't afford. Well, then you know, maybe a couple dollars and just give a couple dollars to help. You know, so you know, give it um to, um to Ginger and say, listen, I can't right now. I'm in a situation where I really can't afford that. But here's a couple dollars to help, maybe with a gift. And a couple here and a couple there. That'll buy a gift also. Amen. So let's not sit back and say, well, I can't or whatever. We can all do something. Someone said, no, I can't. you can do a quarter. You know what I'm saying? I, I, a, amen? amen? So don't look at something. Don't say you can't do anything. We can all do something. Yes, we can. Hey, yes, we can. And you're the one that's going to walk away with the blessing. Cheryl, we got the women's uh, ministry coming up. And what's coming up? Got a lot of stuff for the women this month. So um, I hope you can all attend everything. Uh, Friday night... December 14th, we're having our monthly meeting. It's going to be a week early, Friday night, here at the church, 6.30, and we're having a Christmas tea, and we're having it here in the sanctuary, so please invite people to come. It's going to be an awesome time to get people here that don't normally come to church. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we have some things planned, some surprises. We're going to have great food, and it's a great opportunity to get people saved and um, to hear the Word of God. And Christmas time is a great time to invite people to come to an event like this. Also, we have our um, women's Christmas outreach that we're doing. Um, we're going to be putting bags together, Christmas bags, for the women at the halfway houses on uh, Monday, December 10th. Anyone that wants to join us and help assemble the bags, you're welcome to join us at 630. And then on December 20th, Thursday night, we'll be going out to the halfway houses and all the women that show up to go. Um, we're going to go caroling also as we deliver the bags to all of the women and then have some cookies and, and stuff when we get back. So it's going to be a great opportunity for you to all reach out. And uh, we're going to extend uh, the date that you can continue to bring items up through December 8th and, or the 9th even before we package them on the 10th. And thank you to all of you that have already brought items in. There's a list out in the bookstore. Um, if you can't bring very much, go to the dollar store and just get a couple of items. But anything you can do um, during this season, it's the season of giving, isn't it? 
you know, God gave us his only son, and that's what we're celebrating. And so we're, we're giving back in demonstration of what God did for us. Amen? Amen. Amen. So if there's any other questions, you can, um, um, Cheryl will be available right after service. Make yourselves available to, um, if you have any other questions. And, um, and, and look at somebody once again saying, we can, do, we can all do something. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. That's what it's all about. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's do this. Um, um, don't forget tomorrow, right after service, um, children's practice, um, ages, well, actually from ages 2 to 18, um, as far as for the Christmas Eve service and the, 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 the choir and the singing and all that good stuff. And um, so um, it's not too late to bring your children and have them still be part of that. Um, they started practicing. They sounded great last week. So right after service on Sunday here in the sanctuary, which is tomorrow. And we are going to be serving communion tomorrow morning also. Praise the Lord. Um, if we can have the ushers quickly to come forward. Let's take the offering at this time. Amen. And again, you guys, thank you for, for your faithfulness. Thank you for your trust. Thank you at watching at home and for people around the world, literally, that have been, you know, been faithful in, in support of the, of the dream, the vision, and the assignment. So God bless every one of you. Uh, if you need an offering envelope, there should be one in the seat pocket in front of you. If not, if you raise your hand, we will get one out to you as quickly as possible. The ushers can help you with that. Praise God. Anybody excited to give? Are you excited to give? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Holy Father, we thank you for this night, for this is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for the opportunity here tonight once again as we continue to worship you here tonight with our giving. So we thank you for that privilege. We thank you for that honor. We thank you for that opportunity, Lord God, to impact your kingdom for your glory, Lord God. So Lord, I pray for every single person in this room, Lord God, that you would bless, bring great increase, Lord God, and that your name will be glorified. In your mighty name we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord, you guys. Go ahead and serve the people at this time, and let's just continue to worship the Lord at this time. Oh, we'll see. 
my God. How great. up your glorious and awesome name today this night this in this place we are thankful thank you for your presence in this place thank you for your love thank you for the cross Jesus thank you for your mercies that are new every morning thank you for your amazing grace thank you for your patience with us thank you Lord protecting us and keeping us and giving us an opportunity to be Ambassadors for you. Ambassadors for you. Thank you for trusting us with the message. And we are thankful in this place once again for what you have started in our lives. You shall bring to completion. Just lift our hands and say thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Now look at your neighbor and say your best days are ahead. Amen. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Amen. Praise the Lord. Shout out, receive it. Amen. Lord, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. At this time, um, um, we're going to have, um, um, we're going to um, do the baptisms at this time. So um, I think we got about 16 tonight. So what we'll do is like everybody that's signed up, if you haven't signed up, you need to see Cheryl on the way up, but I think most of you already have signed up already. Make sure you put your name on that sheet that she has. So make sure you make yourselves available to her if you haven't. And what we're going to do is at this time is, um, um, Ginger, why don't you help me out? The women are going to go with Ginger this way up through this door and with um, Amber. So you guys make your way up this way and they'll direct you over here. And then the men are going to go that way, and Pastor Tom will help you go in the back there and, and, and get ready. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So women this way, men that way. Praise God. Amen. 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 Yeah, right up here. Right up here. And right through that door. You guys help them out through the back door there. There we go. Praise God. Let's get that out of the way. Praise God. Yeah, right this way, right this way, guys. Right this way, right this way. Right, no, this way, this way. Oh, you know what? Help them. You know what? You guys come up this way, right up these stairs. Praise God. Amen. Amen. There you go. There you go. Praise God. Whose little one is this over here? <laughs> we got one wandering, amen. We got a little lamb wandering, amen. Yeah, and at this time, let's do this also. Um, let's have the, um, I need a couple people to help with the, with the children too. Let's get the, the children to come up at this time also. So come on up. Um, right up to here, right there. No, you know what? Right there, right there. No, no, no. You know what? No, not on the stairs. Right before the stairs. There you go. Yeah. And let's push this chair up just for right now. 
Let's get this out of the way. You guys can... can I, Can I get somebody to unhook this thing real quick? You don't, please. Praise God. They'll do it. Amen. There we go. There we go. Fill in. Fill in. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Everybody. Amen. Amen. Um, let me say this. Um, uh, you guys, again, thank you. Thank you for, um, 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 thank you for, um, for being here tonight, especially for the ones in the church that knew that we're doing baptisms and you knew that was gonna, we're going we're gonna to be, you know, um, some, you know, others were going to get baptized here and that was going to be that kind of a service. And it shows of a healthy, the, the signs of a healthy church is when we are here to rejoice and encourage the ones that are moving forward in their faith. Amen. So it's great to see what a great turnout tonight. You know, really, and it's always like this on, on our, uh, it's always, every time we do baptisms, you know, it's always a great turnout. And, and I see people in support that come and just support the ones that are getting baptized. And um, God bless you for that. Amen. God's going to bless you as a byproduct of being here and just being a blessing and rejoicing and celebrating um, others, amen, um, and, and they're, as they put action to their faith. So God bless you. And for all the family members and friends that have come to, uh, maybe our, it's your first time here, and you're here because um, somebody here tonight is getting baptized. Maybe it's a son, a daughter, maybe a mother, a father, or aunt, uncle, friend, whatever it might be. Um, we want to welcome you and say God bless you and thank you for being here. And, you know, that's, that, that, you know what, that, that, that's not a small thing, amen. It means a lot, and, um, and God's going to bless you for being here also, amen, because the Bible says, watch this, he who refreshes others will be refreshed themselves. So what you're doing is kind of like by being here, you're encouraging them. It means a lot to them. Amen? So what are you doing? You're refreshing. You're encouraging. You're, you're blessing them by being here with your presence. So guess what? God's going to bless you also. Amen? So God bless every one of you for that also. Amen? Amen. Um, um, also, I just want to say, again, for some of you that are here, and you might say, well, what, you know, is it, is it, do I have to get baptized to get saved? Is it the water? Is it me getting baptized? Is that salvation? No, Jesus saves, amen? So we got to be very clear that the Bible says that those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, amen? So, so it's, 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 it's Jesus is the one that saves, but if you truly have been born again and have received him as Lord and Savior of your life, amen? and you believe that he died for you, rose from the grave, and you've received him as Lord and Savior of your life, and you're following him, that is, okay, that is just the born-again experience. You are saved. But if you're truly saved, then you put action to your faith also. So now you start to obey the word of God. And one of, and one of the commands of God is to be baptized in water. So we do it because we love him and we want to obey him. The Bible says, if you love me, you will obey me. So this is an act of obedience to what the word of God tells us after we've been saved. So what's happening here tonight is, 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 is a public declaration of people's faith that's already happened in their hearts. They're not getting saved right now. They've been saved. They, they've been washed by the blood of Jesus, and now they're making a public declaration of what's already happened in their heart publicly to everybody, and, and they are identifying as they go down in the water with the old self, the old self, you know, dying, you know, the old self and the death of Jesus Christ. And when they come back up out of the water, they're identifying with the resurrection of our Lord and Savior and the new person they are in Christ. Amen. And that's what's taking place here tonight. Amen. And God's going to bless everyone that is getting baptized tonight because it's also an act of obedience and God blesses obedience. Amen. So, you know what? Just everybody's getting blessed here tonight. Amen. Shout I'm in. Look at your neighbor. You too. Amen. Everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, um, so praise God. So God bless everyone. So are we ready to go? Good to go. Amen. Brand, Joshua, where's your, where's your brother at? Where's your brother? Is he with you? Oh, he's over there. Okay. So you left your brother over there. Amen. All right. All right. Praise God. Josh. Josh, praise the Lord. 
He's looking at me going, come on, leave me alone. <laughs> um, so are we ready back here? Are we pretty much, everyone's good to go? Okay, Cheryl, so who, who do we have on our list? Who, or do we? We're almost ready. We're almost ready. Okay, how about, a, uh, let, me, let me hear some testimonies over here before we get started. So what do you got? Oh, you got something? You got something, Lana? What do you got to say? It was my birthday on November 6th, and I had fun. November what? Six? Yes. Okay, and November 6th. And how old are you? Nine. All right, happy birthday. Belated. Oh, she goes belated. It's a belated birthday. Amen. So what about, did you get any gifts? Uh, yeah. I got, I, I got a gumball machine. All right, gumball machine. All right, that's nothing, nothing wrong with that. All right, sweet. What about you? My birthday is five days, but my mom was there, and it's my birthday. Okay. Five, and five. I was five. Oh, you're five. She's five. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, okay, who else? Who else has something to say? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who else? What do you got to say? Josh, what are you doing? We're doing, we're doing a play today. She says they're doing, they're doing a play tonight, so before we finish, there's a drama we're going to finish tonight, and she's in the drama. Amen. Praise the Lord. Anybody else? You got something to say? She, she goes like this. She, she waved. Is that okay? So we got a wave. All right. Anybody else? Josh, you got something to say? Hold on a second. Hold on a second, mister. Okay. What do you want to say? Do you love Jesus? Luda. Okay. okay amen. <laughs> amen. She's, he, he said, praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> that was praise the Lord in tongues. Amen. That's what that was. Okay, anybody else got oh, okay, okay, anybody else got a birthday coming up? When's your birthday coming? January 19th. Okay, January 19th. December 29th. December 29th. Anybody else got a birthday that's coming up in maybe in a week or two? I know what my birthday What's your brother's birthday? June 25th. June 25th. Which one? Josh. Josh. Okay, well you got another one? Maybe. Yeah. Okay, November 10th. Did you guys hear that? Amen. They're working. They're, they're, they're letting everybody know, you know, so they can get some, some praise God. Well, my birthday is in, well, no, my brother's birthday is in uh, December 4th, so it's really coming up. Okay, cool. Coming up. So we got a birthday that's coming up. Okay, praise the Lord. Amen. All right. Well, praise the Lord. All right. Are we ready? Right, are we good? Okay, we're good to go. All right, you guys. Everyone looking forward. Looking forward now. All right, so Cheryl, who do we have first? The first one tonight is Suzanne Reto. Suzanne, praise the Lord. It's a shock when you go in there. It's a shock. <sighs> praise the Lord. Suzanne, God bless you. Did you want to say something before? Like, how did you find out about the, you know, how did you end up at this point? You guys, I need everybody to pay attention. I want, okay, praise the Lord. If you're going to stay up on the stage, praise God, okay? Look at your neighbor and say, Um, sorry. I've been an addict my whole life. I was addicted to food, and in 2004, I had gastric bypass surgery at 356 pounds, and then I started taking pills, and I saw every doctor, rehab, everything, but I needed the great physician, and Gina and James actually helped us get here, and we're here, and praise God. <laughs> I needed Jesus, and I'm here. I love him. <laughs> praise the Lord. Amen. The ultimate doctor. Greatest physician, amen? One day, one day, he cured me. My whole life, I've had a problem, and one day, he cured me. Did you hear that here? I'm sorry, go ahead. What? Oh, what, that one day, he cured me? My whole life, I've been an addict, and he cured me on one day. Were you, like, were you in church during that? Did you come to service? Were you at home? Witness. Okay. Oh, Jehovah Witness. Yeah. Okay. And so, we didn't really know Jesus, and it's just a different life. You were raised in fear, and so we ate. And then you took pills, anything to numb you. And then now I'm not numb. I'm happy. I'm, I have a full heart. I love him. 
I love him. Praise Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Cheryl, who do we have next? Michael Reed. Michael, praise God. Amen. Michael, praise the Lord. God bless you. Now, just a couple questions. Did, um, you want to just share just briefly how you ended up here and how you came to, to know the Lord? Soldiers of the Cross uh, introduced me to the Lord. Okay, okay. So, pray. Now, uh, are you over with Benny in, in Florence then? No, I ended up running into them and made some good friends, and they okay. introduced me. Okay, praise God. Amen. Well, God bless you. Amen. Praise God. So on. Josh, I'm watching you, man. I'm watching you. Amen. Number, uh, who, who do we have next, Cheryl? Next is Patrick Torres. Pa Patrick. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And Patrick, did you want to share how you found out about, you know, how, how you came to know the Lord? You've been helping me fight my addiction, so here I am. Okay, now, how, now, now when, when you gave your heart to the Lord, was it here at the church? Or, okay, now, how long ago? Three, four weeks. About three, four weeks ago. And how did you end up, how did you, how did you know about the church to, to come here? My roommate brought me here, thought it would help me, and sure enough, it did. Okay, so got invited by the roommate, came over here, has been with us for three weeks now, four weeks. Three weeks, four weeks, praise God. And how's everything, I mean, since you've come, I mean, obviously things are, you know, you're here. Ten, I mean. Doing great now. Doing a whole lot better. You, you, you breakthrough in, in, in that area that you were struggling in? Yep. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Who do we have next? Cecilia Garza. Cecilia, okay. Praise God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise God. Cecilia, how did you find out about the church? Uh, actually, a cousin of ours where I lived, and then she passed it on to my son. And my son came to one of your services, and had the Holy Spirit and came and told me it was on fire. Okay, okay. Yeah. And how long have you been coming to church then? Uh, actually, church in another church, it's been a year, but here, three months. Three months, okay. And now you're putting action to your faith and getting baptized. Amen. Yes. Praise yes. God. Amen. Yes. Praise God, Cecilia.
Mark Stimson. Mark, praise the Lord. Amen. Mark, praise the Lord, man. God bless you. Did you want to share like just how you ended up here? Sure. I've been coming to this church for several months. I was invited by a good friend. Okay. And but, you know, I've just kind of been attending and you know, I never gave my life to the Lord until just recently here. Okay. And so, it was, it was, so it was one of the services here. Right. Okay, and you responded to the altar call. Yes, that's correct. And I just want to thank you all for joining me for the you know, I take this as the first day of the rest of my life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's awesome. Good, good, good. Okay, Cheryl, who do we have next? Charles Flanagan. Charles, amen. Charles, God bless you, man. Um, um, quick testimony on how you ended up here and how you came to the Lord. Uh, I got this message from my friend that he received a card from a pastor here. I don't know if it was you. Maybe Ron, Pastor Ronnie. I don't know. It was, on, it was just a message that got to me through my friend who does not believe at all in the Lord. Okay, so, so he, he, got, he received a card. No, well, his friend received a card from somebody here at the church. And his friend doesn't believe in God. But somehow the information got to you. And I asked him if you want to have a conversation on spirituality because just prior to that, uh, I was saved by Jesus Christ. And that's when he gave me the card, and that's how I found out about fire and water. And, and, and how long ago was this? Uh, that's about three weeks ago. About three weeks ago, so now you're here and pressing forward, and, and it's a byproduct of getting a, from a friend, and it wasn't, the card wasn't even directly to you, but it was your friend that got the card, and now you found a home church, and you're moving forward for the glory of God. It's awesome, amen? Cards. Those cards in the bookstore, amen. Sometimes people say, well, I'm not called to, you know, I'm gonna, you know I can't preach or I can't, I don't have that, you know, like, you know, like, you know, you, you hear that sometimes, like, or, or I really don't, you know, I don't, you know, have that boldness or I don't feel I can be as bold as some other people are. Well, you know, you can be bold just by giving a card, though. Do you see what I'm saying? A card, everybody can give a card or leave a card or um, when you go through a drive through or after you finish eating um, dinner at a, at a restaurant, just when you tip, you know, when you, when you tip and, 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 um, and you leave a tip, you leave the card there. And sometimes they'll even start asking you questions when you do that because they'll see the card. And that's a great opportunity just to kind of share. But if not, they still get that card. And then the rest, God does the rest because watch this. The Bible says one plants another water as God brings the increase. Our job is just to plant and water. Then God brings the increase. That's the job of God. But we, that's, that's the possible. Amen? And if, and if you do go to a restaurant and, 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 and you eat... You know, if it's not a fast food place, amen, and you're at the restaurant, make sure you tip the people that are serving you. Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, let me just say something, amen. You know, some of the, the, the worst tippers are the people in church, you know that? And we're the ones that are talking about Jesus in the restaurant. Why is everybody looking at me all of a sudden? It's like, Pastor, wow, what did you, how did you just get to that? Because I just felt something right now when I said that about the restaurant. <laughs> We, you got to remember, we're, we're being witnesses, okay? So when you're talking about the Lord or some of us have a Bible at the table, whatever it might be, after church, everyone's dressed up, right? And then all of a sudden, you know what? We finish our meal and then we don't, you know, give what, you know, just the average of what, what you know, because we'll say, well, it's like, you know, that's, no, that's part of it. If you go and sit down in a restaurant, the waiters or wait, the, the, the waiters that are there serving you, that's part of their job. Some of them, they have children, they have families, they got, you know, I mean, they got bills, you know, don't, don't, you know, make sure that if you go, be a blessing and do the right thing. And, and I, I always try to do the be above and beyond when I go. And you know what? And if you can't, then maybe don't go that day. Go when you can. 
Because I'm telling you, people walk away, the waiters, and if you don't, you know, it's under like, let's say 15%, and sometimes people don't even tip. Sometimes they don't tip. And you walk away, what do you think they're thinking? What, what, what's left in their mind after hearing you talk about Jesus? So the next person that tries to invite them and tell them about God, all they're thinking about is like, well, I don't want to go to church, you know, if everyone's like that. I, I, I just preached a message just now, amen? <laughs> Praise God. Look at somebody, do the right thing if you go to the restaurant. <laughs> amen? <laughs> Otherwise, just go through McDonald's if you're not ready, if you can't, you know, you're a little short on time. Nothing wrong with McDonald's, double cheeseburger, fries, you know, a Coke and some apple pies, and, you know, that's fine for a night, Amen? What do you guys think about McDonald's down here? Who likes McDonald's down here? If you guys like McDonald's down here, lift up your hands. Who likes Burger King? Which one do you guys like? Who, you know, just, uh, uh, you know, shout, shout if you like McDonald's. Burger King. Let's do it again. McDonald's. Burger King, too. You can't do both. Take That Burger King McDonald's talk got him going. Amen. Cheryl. Jonathan Barter. Jonathan. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. That'll wake you up. Praise the Lord. Watch this. I hear, I hear daddy in the crowd over here. I got, is that you? Is that, so you're a junior, huh? Praise the Lord. Are you excited about your dad? Yeah. Well, the, our brother shared his testimony not too long ago um, on a Tuesday night here, just the other, like, I think uh, just a little bit, and um, how God, you know, has moved in his life and what God's done in, you know, in his family. And um, just a quick little testimony again, you know, just um, uh, before we baptize you, how you ended up here. Well, that was just a little section of the testimony that brought me here, but it started long, long ago in a far off place. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But really, I mean, I didn't really have God when I was growing up as a young child until my mom remarried and then I was brought into Mormonism. And that was my, I was in the Mormon church and they baptized me at the age of eight and I kind of never really connected, you know, never a connection was made there until I was like 13, 14. Then I kind of rebelled and went my own way, kind of lost my way. But I always felt like there was somebody looking out for me and, you know, I try to go to church here and there, and, you know, it's just, this is the first time that I feel truly connected, and I feel like I'm where I should be. Feels right. Praise the Lord, and putting action to his faith here tonight, amen, and um, praise the Lord, amen. Well, awesome. I was just saying, I don't know if you guys heard me, I just said, buck up. Right, Cheryl, who do we have next? Vernon Thompson. <laughs> All right, we got the whole family back there, amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Did you want to say something? Uh, just praise the Lord, you know, just grateful to be here at this. Um, baptism service uh, I have my family my wife and two kids and so we're just demonstrating obedience according to the Word of God okay and so all glory be to Jesus amen awesome. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay, who do we have next, Cheryl? Shanae Thompson. Amen. Praise God. Um, did you want to say something? I'm just thankful to the Lord that I'm here, that I made it this far, that he kept me until now. Well, praise God. And you know what? And the best is yet to come with you guys. As you guys, you know, I, I, and I know there's many in this church. It's like I can tell, you know, there's like some don't even miss a service. And um, I don't even remember the last time I haven't seen you guys in church in here. Amen. Praise the Lord. No, that when, once they've gotten plugged in, they've been pressing through and, um, and God sees that. And, um, and I'm not trying to make somebody, if you missed a service or something, and I know we have three services a week. It doesn't mean that, you know, the, the God's not going to bless you. I'm just saying, you know, she's here right now, and you know what? And you've made it, you know, uh, you more than made it, amen? And you know what? And, and you still haven't seen anything yet. This is just the beginning for your family, amen? Because God sees your love for him, and you want to please him, and you want to obey him. You're here, the kids. I see all the kids. You guys are always bringing the kids. You know, I'm just big old smiles. The whole family comes with big old smiles to church, and just, um, and, um, and um, God's got some special blessings for you guys, amen? Praise God, amen. If you're wondering that, that that's Josh again. Amen. Yeah. Sh Cheryl, who do we have next? Tayshawn Thompson. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Come on, come here. Praise God. So are you excited? What did you think when your parents were getting baptized? I I feel great. Okay, okay. Let, let me ask you a question. Do you love Jesus? Yes. Do you believe that he died on the cross for you? Yes. Do you believe that he rose from the grave? Yes. Have you received him in your heart as Lord and Savior? Yes. Praise the Lord. What do you want to do when you become older? Um, a praiser. Okay, like a worship leader? Leading songs and stuff? Okay, anything else? Is that pretty much, that's, that's, that's nothing wrong with that. Is there any other ideas, thoughts? No. You just want to worship and be a worship leader. In Jesus' name, let it be so. Amen. Pray, can we say... Can I get an amen? amen. Samaya Thompson. Okay, 
Okay, let me ask you a question. What did you, when you saw your brother and your parents getting baptized, what did you think? Okay. Are you excited to get baptized? Okay. Let me ask you a question. Do you believe that Jesus died for you? Yes. Do you believe that he rose from the grave on the third day? Yes. Have you received him as Lord and Savior of your life in your heart? Yes. You love him? Yes. Let me ask you a question. What, what, what do you want to do? When you, do you know what you want to do when you grow up? Not yet. Right now, you're just, you just want to be a kid. She just wants to be a kid right now. Nothing wrong with that. Amen. Cheryl, who's next? Mackenzie Ratto. Mackenzie, praise the Lord. Mackenzie, God bless you. Praise the Lord. Amen. So you want to tell us how you got to the church and how you ended up here? Um, oh, I was studying with the Jehovah's Witnesses, and then my sister and my brother-in-law were coming. But I was raised a Jehovah's Witness, and just a lot of things weren't adding up, so I started reading the Bible on my own. So, and just... I just want to do what's best for me and my kids. I have eight kids. <laughs> so How did you end up here? My sister and my brother-in-law. Okay, so they got you over here. And, you, and you've been coming for how long now? For like a couple of weeks, but I just love it. <laughs> a couple of weeks, and again, background coming out of Jehovah Witness. I mean, that, God's bringing some people out of some, you know, uh, uh, um, um, some, some false teaching. Amen. So to God be the glory. Amen. Awesome. Awesome. Praise the Lord. Who's next? Nicholas Ratto. Nicholas. That was my mom up there before me. And our aunt, we, we went to another church, and then we sort of lost faith in God a long time ago. And our aunt and our uncle um, brought us here to this church, and we've been here for like four weeks. And, and, and how do you like it? A lot. <laughs> Did you hear what I, I said? How do you like it? He goes, a lot. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So now you look forward to coming to church? Always. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's awesome. Praise God. Cheryl, who's next? Anthony Ratto. Anthony. <laughs> we got, we got, we got moms, dads. We got junior. You know, you know, we got. Uh, now who, now who's this to you guys? Brother. Brother. All right. Wow. Did you want to say anything before baptizing? No. All right.
Teresa Montijo. Praise the Lord, Teresa. Did you want to share a testimony before we baptize you? I was brought up to be a Catholic all my life. Um, about two years ago, um, I thank Anthony for bringing me here to this church. I, first, I was searching for a church to understand because I didn't understand really Catholic. You know, the Father is up there in the altar reading the Bi from the scriptures from the Bible and all that, but, um, you know, I just, some parts I didn't understand. Um, Anthony had told me about fire and water, and so I came and tried it out, and it, I just felt it here, you know, the Holy Spirit, you know, with Pastor Gus here, you know, thank the Lord, you know. Um, like, I, t I tell my sisters, because, you know, I, I was a battle with my family, my sisters, you know, you know, well, we're not Christians, we're Catholics, you know. Um, like I said, there's only one Father, there's only one Holy Ghost and one Holy Spirit and one, um, one Son. <laughs> um, you know, I almost lost my kids this year. This was the testimony that I was waiting for Wednesday, this past Wednesday, it, my, it's over. You know, I was under CPS, everything, you know. Um, you know, it's, it's just miraculous what the Lord has done for for me, you know, and my, you know, I'm praying every day, you know, I was stressing every day, you know, thinking I was going to lose my children and everything, you know, the, with the courts and everything, you know, they scratched my cases, my case, but I was still under CPS, and you know, I thank my family that was there for me, especially my daughter, she's struggled with me, stayed with me, you know, she was my monitor for my children, and I thank her, I really thank her, and I love her so much. And she's here today. My whole kids, all my kids are here today. They're back there. Okay, can you guys stand to your feet if that's you? Uh, everybody, a son-in-law and everybody, whoever's here in support, amen. No, stand up one more time. Everybody that's here for support, amen. Stand up one more time. Give them a big God bless you, amen. Praise the Lord. Awesome. That's why I said earlier, this means a lot. It's not a small thing, amen. Thank you. Yes, my sister also, Anna Marie. My godson, Daniel, my sister, Gina, also, I love you, and I thank you. you. I wish you could just come here and feel the Holy Spirit, because this is where it's at. I'm telling you, this is where it's at, and you'll feel it. You will feel it. And my nephew, Anthony, and Danelle, I love them so much. They've, they've been there for me also, and all you guys have been here, you know, especially Pastor Ryan's mother there. I thank her, and Father Frank, I thank him also, you know, and I'm ready to be a, a soldier for the Lord, you know, so thank you. You know, what I want to say is, um, what, you know, I, 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 and just, you know, just to follow up with what you were saying, it's like, you know, that, you know, sometimes we have a tendency, you know, what, you know, like, well, I'm a Baptist or I'm Catholic, and if you're, and, 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 and people kind of designate their faith in, 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 okay, you know, if you're not, that, that, it, you know, that, that if you're not Catholic, then you're not, you're not right, or if you're not this, you're not right, and the bottom line is, let me clarify, it's not a Catholic thing. It's not a Baptist thing. It's not a Assemblies of God thing. It's not a Church of God thing. Do you hear what I'm going with this? Amen. In other words, let me clarify this. Our denomination did not die for us. Your denomination it does not save you. Jesus saves you. Okay, so, so, so I want to be very clear. Now, there's denominations and uh, uh, as as you know, as a as a way of like bringing some order within the church, amen. And there's you know, and even you know, you know, and you even mentioned. I, I know even like you know, and I want to be very careful here. Like even you know, Catholic church. I know some that really you know, people have been impacted by them. You know, you know, on some of them, you know. But I, I know what you're saying when you said that. Okay, so I've I've had that background also. Um, so I, I identify. Yeah, and, and let me just say this. So I identify, but I've also heard. I want to say it like this: that you know, people have been born again within a Catholic charismatic church. I've heard before. You know, so so what I'm saying is, as long as the preaching Jesus and, and it's clear and, 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 and you're walking away and your life is being changed and you're being challenged and you're living, you want to do more for God. I don't, whatever church that is, as long as they're preaching the gospel. So now I'm not going to tell you go here. I, I'm not telling you to go to a certain, I'm just saying a good, healthy church. You check the fruit. The Bible says by their fruits, you shall know them. Are they preaching the gospel from beginning to end? Are people getting saved? Are you being challenged? Are you being encouraged? Do you walk out wanting to do more for God? Sometimes are you being challenged, convicted to get your life right in certain areas? That's a good church. And is Jesus being lifted up? 
it, it, when they start talking about different ways to heaven and things like no 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 it, it, there's only one way to heaven the bible is very clear one mediator between heaven and earth his name is jesus if they're preaching salvation and born you know as far as the, as far as the cross and the resurrection praise the lord and that those who call upon the name of the lord shall be saved and now through Christ you have access to the Father. You don't have to go through five people or 20 saints to get to Jesus. You don't have to go to five other saints to get the ear of God the Father. Now through Christ and the blood of Jesus, you have access to the Father. Can someone say amen? I just said something. Go ahead. Also, we are all going to reunite when the lord comes we're all of us catholic christian all of us all main the, well the main thing the ones that have jesus as lord and savior in their heart amen that's the key amen that is right and ramona i love you thank you you have been through with me all this time and i thank you and i love you <laughs> amen praise the lord amen Praise the Lord. All right. Who do we have next? This is the last one. Okay. Hortensia Rios. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen, Hortensia. God bless you. And, uh, and I thank God for this precious heart also because she's been, she's, she, you know, I, I think that if, if there was a message here, again, is, um, um, you know, um, it, the message of it would be not to give up and keep on fighting the good fight of faith. And she keeps on plugging away. And I know that, you know, the finish is going to be greater than the start. And, you know, um, and, and God sees your heart. And, um, and we're proud of you. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know it hasn't been easy. Do you want to share real quick before we baptize you? just thank God for his mercy and I thank him for for my family here because it's become a family and I thank him that his love is so much greater than than the pain and the sin that I was caught up in and I I just I just thank God just for the privilege hey, amen we want to tell everybody like kind of like like how you ended up here or how you know or just you know. um I I I came because well actually I first found out here because a, a friend of mine um told me about it like years ago and it, the main thing was like hey they pick you up so then like years later i ended up calling for a ride um i looked at i called 411 information and then um and um and i was uh, at the time i was um i was addicted and i was shooting up heroin and meth and um i was just so lost and um and i just started coming to church even though i was like come high but i would still come you know like i was still you know I'd go home and do the same thing, but I was still wanting, um, just wanting to change. And then um, I'm just, <laughs> um, Pastor Gus had sent me to um, Team Challenge, and I wanted to go, but I didn't stay long. Um, I left way before I should have left, and I, I'm a stubborn person, and so thank God. You know, and anyways, I'm here, and I thank God that Pastor Gus allowed me to come back still. I always say this, you know what, that's why I'm like really proud. She's here on a, during the week with her children and to help clean the church, and, and, um, and, 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 and I said on Tuesday, um, you know, we all have our moments, you know, and, and some of us all, you know, like we all, you know, um, act like, you know, like we're perfect or something, you know, like we never go through something, or something, I always say, like sometimes you hear somebody shouting next to you, and you, what you don't understand is, you don't know the whole testimony and what they've been through and why they're shouting so loud because of how good God's been in their lives. So what I'm trying to say is, watch this, what I'm trying to say is the gospel, you know, the world's, you know, we're not of the world anymore. So uh, uh, the, uh, the way the church should be is the way Jesus was. He set an example. And I'm not talking about after you've been saved. I'm talking about when we've had moments after we've been saved. We have a tendency to give up on people or you know, get on the phone, I said on Tuesday, and just tell the whole world what happened, you know, or did you hear what happened over here? And maybe God showed you or allowed you to see something, not to call somebody, but to get on your knees and be the bridge that helps that person get back up and finish the course. 
Is that not what Jesus did with Peter? Now, I'm not talking about people that are, that are, saying, that, that are not willing to change or whatever. I'm talking, I don't care if it's a hundred times. If someone gets back up and is willing to get back up, watch this, and is willing to get back up to try to do the right thing. And, and I know, that, you know, and you know when someone's sincere about that. I don't care. Like she said, you know, she, we ended up helping to get her into the, 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 the women's team challenge, and she didn't end up staying, but she ended up coming back. Absolutely. You know why? We, you know, the door was open for her, and we're willing to stand next to her and help her again because we saw her heart again that she was sincere about trying to, 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 to move forward and get the victory in her life. So what I'm saying is when somebody's willing to try to get it right, I don't care if it's 100 times, I will stand with anybody personally. I'm talking about personally. And as the, as the pastor of this church, as long as I see someone that's willing to move forward and try again. I'm not talking about playing games. You know, I'm talking about really sincerely get back up and try again. Because that's what Jesus did with Peter. I see it throughout the Bible. And God never gave up on anybody that cried out to him and was willing to get back up. Let's be people that are that are that are bridges and our encouragement and are speaking the solution not tearing people down because sometimes when people fall or have you know repetitive uh, you know re repetitive times of falling if there's no one there to help them get back on that horse sometimes they never get back on that horse how many tragedies are out there because the church Was not willing. I'm not talking about sometimes you got to use wisdom and you put some structure and accountability. But I'm talking where you were, we stood next to that person to try to get them back little by little. Sometimes we push them to the side. And sometimes, yes, you want to bring a structure and you want to bring some accountability and some changes in certain areas sometimes. But sometimes what the person needs is to get back in the game. It, it, you know, to some degree. That's why a long time ago, not too long ago, got, uh, there was somebody that we had up here, and, and, and so people will talk. You know, you hear people talk sometimes, and I can care less anyway. Amen. Praise the Lord. But um, someone had fallen in, 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 you know, on drugs, okay? And, they, and it was four days later, and, it, you know, but at that time, God spoke to me. He's like, that, what they need right now is to show them love that they're not, they're not disregarded, they're not rejected, and they're, that you're here for them and I'm here for them, you know, as far as God is speaking, that, that, that what we did for them and the, our response was the key for them to get back up. So long story short, that day, it was a Sunday, and we, and we said, no, you need to get over here and get in the choir. Now, sometimes there's got to be some, like I said, there's, each situation is different, but overall, what I'm saying is that was somebody that knew the Lord and has been through stuff, but at that point, what they needed was in that decision to say, get back up there and start singing the, and get up on that platform. Now, afterwards, we worked on getting some things and some help. But the point was, that was the, that's what they needed to know that God still loves them, that God hadn't forsaken them. And how many tragedies are out there that, 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 that have never come back and have been lost because the church, instead of being a hand out and covering them, I just said a word, covering them. We, were, we, we didn't cover them, and we weren't that bridge. But what we did is, in our own way, through telephone, gossip, in different ways, we exposed that person, and it hurt them and damaged them, and they never came back. Can someone say amen? Look at them and say, be a bridge to bring them back. Can someone say amen? We love you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, Hortensia. Okay, wait, ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Praise the Lord, Hortensia. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
Let's give them all a hand. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay. Amen. And what I want to do is let me get all the children. And, and everybody that got baptized, they're going to get a certificate and pictures to go along with it. The next upcoming service, those will be available in the bookstore so you can have it as an altar and, a, and, a, and as for remembrance. All the children, you don't have to go back to Why don't you do this? I want you guys to come and sit in the, in the front altar because we're going to do a drama right now. Come over here. Come over here. I want you guys to come. Not, not, not on the steps. On the, right in front here. Not on the steps because they need the room here. Okay. Get down here and look up at the stage. Off the steps, though, not on the steps. You guys find a stop, find a spot. Praise the Lord. Okay, you guys, not on the steps, not on the steps. I want you guys to get in the ground. The, there you go. On, uh, not on the steps, right in the front of the altar. Well, praise the Lord. As we, as, we, as we finish the service here tonight, we're going to finish with this human video. And I just, want to, I just want to say this to anybody that's here tonight that maybe has never given their hearts to Jesus. Maybe it's your first time here at church. Maybe you, were, you came just to, 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 to celebrate um, um, on one of these that got baptized tonight. And, um, and you heard the testimonies. And maybe you came in this place and you were struggling. And I don't know what to say. Just hopeless at the end of the end. I want to say to you here tonight. God wants to say to you here tonight that he loves you and it's not too late. That there is hope. I'm going to say that again. It's not too late and there is hope. Maybe you came in here and whatever you're dealing with right now is, is so big and it, it seems impossible. I'm here to tell you with God all things are possible and nothing's impossible with God. But your miracle and your turnaround starts with a relationship with him when you surrender to him completely and start to do it his way. And I want to give everybody that opportunity here tonight before we dismiss to give your hearts to him, the miracle worker, the one that makes the crooked places straight, the one that gives you peace at night, amen, to be able to lay your head and, 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 and go to sleep and have that peace that surpasses human understanding. Praise the Lord. And it's not the way you start. It's the way you finish. Amen. Okay. It's not the way you start. It's the way you finish. And God is not intimidated with your sins here tonight. He died for every one of your sins. And his grace and his mercy is here tonight to give you an opportunity to wash you and cleanse you and give you a new start. So at the end of this drama, we're going to give you that opportunity in a closing prayer. And, um, and know there is somebody out there that loves you, and his name is Jesus. Somebody out there Hurt and confused An innocent child Being abused There's somebody out there Whose heart is breaking in two There's somebody out there Feeling alone A husband or wife There's somebody out there Shattered from a broken home But there's somebody out there With arms open wide Who longs to embrace you Dry the tears from your eyes He's hopeful, the hopeless you care
Every head bowed, every head bowed. Lord, we thank you for this awesome night. We thank you for your presence. Thank you for the victory in this place tonight. Thank you for the ones that have put action to their faith and have obeyed your word and gotten baptized. But Lord, tonight, there's people in this room I know and even watching at home. They're in places in their lives where it seems hopeless and they're at the end of the end, ready to give up. Lord, tonight I believe with all my heart after this whole service and the testimonies and the drama that they know tonight there is hope, there is an answer. His name is Jesus, that you're the answer tonight. So in this place right now, if that's you and say, Pastor, I want to get right with God. I want to make sure I'm going to heaven. I want to live for him. I don't want to live the way I'm living. And tonight I know there is an answer. I know there is an answer tonight that God's not mad with me, but he loves me and he died for me. Tonight, not judgment in this place, but it's the love of God stretching out his hands tonight, his grace and his mercy. There's still time. It's not too late. You're here tonight. You're breathing. You have not blown it. You still have time to get it right and finish strong for the glory of God. Not just to get to heaven, but also to do something relevant on this earth to glorify his name. Amen. If that's you right now, I say, Pastor, that's me, and I want to get right with God. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. Let me just see your hand on the count of three. One, two, three. Just lift up your hand. Thank you. I see that. I look, hands going up all over. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I see in the middle. I see a couple of hands over here. Yes, a couple of hands over here. What I'm going to ask you to do right now in conclusion here, I just want to just in conclusion, this is, what, what, this is the greatest miracle of all, salvation. Amen. Every hand that just went up right now for salvation, I just want you just to, and don't worry about anybody else around you, amen. It's between you and God. This is, this, we're, talking about eterni- we're talking about eternal things here. We're talking about your eternity here, amen. And um, um, don't worry about anybody else around you. On the, uh, everyone that raised your hand here tonight, just, um, um, if that was you, just stand to your feet real quick. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Remain standing. Remain standing. Remain standing. Remain standing. Remain standing, please. It's just a step of faith here, amen? Remain standing. And I want all of us to join in on this prayer. I want to say this before we pray. Very important. To get in church, we'd love to have you here to help you, amen, or help you find a good church home, amen? But very important from this point on that you get connected and get involved. Get around the right people going in the right direction. Very, very important. We st- after this, the miracle only got this is God, this is, this only God can forgive, amen? And watch. But if we're to finish strong, we still have to do the possible. We need to read the word of God to feed our spirit. We need to pray, spend time with him, and go to church. You do those three things consistently, you're going to be just fine. Very important, get connected. Get connected. Because faith comes by hearing, by hearing the word of God. So I want to just make sure, if you need a Bible, there's Bibles in the bookstore. We'd love to help you with that, okay? So there's Bibles in the bookstore right after service. If you have any questions, you can fill out the card in the back when you, when you get the Bible. As far as, um, as, far as um, 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 you know, the church and, you know, on how to get connected and all that good stuff, we'll help you with any of those questions, okay? Praise the Lord. And if you are here for the first time also, and you, um, um, we'd love to have, um, we want to bless you with a, a DVD on the way out also. Um, so if you stop in the bookstore and just let us know how you found out about us and fill out that card, that would be great too, amen? And we just want to bless you for coming and being part of the service here tonight. Um, are you ready to pray? Okay, I want all of us to join in on this prayer. The Bible says, those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Are you ready? Let's pray. Dear God, I come to you tonight, and I need you. I can't do this without you. I need a Savior. I'm a sinner, and I need a Savior. So I receive, and I accept Jesus Christ your son as my Lord and Savior of my life. I believe that he died for me. Jesus, I believe that you rose from the grave on the third day. And Jesus, I believe you are the son of the living God. And I receive you as Lord and Savior of my life. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me of my sins and renew a right spirit within me. I'm all yours from this night forth. I surrender all. 
I believe that those who call upon your name shall be saved. I believe I'm saved. I'm on my way to heaven. And my best days are ahead. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Now watch this. The kids, before we dismiss, this is going to be our dismissal. I want all the kids to stand up. Okay, and I want you to say these words, okay? It's not the way to start. It's not the way to start. It's the way to finish, okay? Now turn around and come on. Come on, three. One, two, three. Praise the Lord. God bless every one of you. We're back here tomorrow morning, amen? God bless you. Is a God who loves me.